Hello, my name is Michael Keneally, and this recorded webinar <coughs> is the level one webinar, module one, The Sun in Your Birth Chart. So, this is Western astrology, and it's module one of my Western astrology level one course, www.enlightenedastrologycourse.com. And I must apologize, I've got, I'm getting over a cold, so I hope that doesn't intrude too much. Um, there's a vast area to be covered. And basically, you can either buy my webinars separately, or you can enroll on the course and get the webinars free. And if you're enrolled on the course, you get the background notes for each module and so in this case there's about um, 70 pages of background notes in addition of course to the course handbook <clears throat> as i've said we're studying the sun and the method of my course is very clear and that is we study one planet after another in Western astrology, focusing first on your chart and second on my chart. And so we go through all the planets, sun, moon, ascendant, and then the other planets in the order you wish. But in addition, um, you can intersperse this with working through quite extensive psychodynamic astrology manuals and so you build up a very practical and applied knowledge of astrology because you're studying the charts of two flesh and blood individuals so it has to be authentic it has to be genuine but you're also learning about the planets and you're learning a lot of theory and a principle of my western astrology course is that you can cross over into vedic astrology if you feel that would be helpful and what you want and also my Vedic courses you can cross over into Western astrology if you wish. So what I'd like to do is look at the contents of the um, supporting notes to this webinar so that you can get an idea of what we're going to cover. So um, that should be this chart becoming visible now. And um, we're looking at page two of the notes, which outline what I'm going to talk about. Now, clearly, the actual agenda of understanding the sun in your birth chart is vast. And so I won't go through the endless pages of notes, I'm going to be selective. So if you look at what's on the list, well, first of all, do have a drawing pad and pens to hand because so often in the webinars, we try and do artwork. So for example, to draw what the sun is in your chart, and maybe that will have issues of difficulty in healing, and then maybe draw your healed sun and aim towards that. And also we do embodiment work and healing approaches quite often in these simple webinars, EFT or emotional freedom technique. But there's quite a list of the healing modalities you can connect to <coughs> on the Astrology Course website. So pause the webinar at any point if you, for example, need to get your paper and pens or uh, need to play something again or need a break. Now, OK, we're looking at the list. So the first thing and I think is so important to study is the sun as a god, as a reflection of the divine, a refraction of the divine and the sun archetypes. We then go on to look at a very, very, very important concept, which is the filters model of astrological understanding. You need to understand the energy of every planet through filters of the sign the planet falls in, 
So in my case, it's Son in Libra, which is just like a twelfth of the possible glorious shining of the sun. And then you need to study the house the planet falls in. And then thirdly, any aspects the, the planet forms to other planets. So you look at the light, but we always experience the light of each planet through the filters. So having made that point, we go on to what sign is your sun in? And we'll be looking at the charts of members to make this real and genuine. What house is your sun in? And then we introduce the concept of nature versus nurture. So this is so valuable. Planets in signs are our nature. Planets in houses are the effect of our nurture, especially our earliest nurture, our earliest childhood upbringing. And we need to perceive, distinguish and work with what is the nature of our sun and what is the nurturing effects. How was that improved or distorted by our earliest upbringing and other environmental factors? <clears throat> so then we go on to study the aspects formed by the sun to other planets and then the wonderful chart aspect shapes and also unaspection does your planet not aspect another planet in which case it's cut off from the rest of your chart it might be quite difficult for you to connect to the energy of that planet at some times in your life at other times in your life the energy of that planet might totally swamp and eclipse the rest of you and this is part of psychosynthesis, and we do, in your study, psychosynthesis role play. Now the next thing, um, section eight, is hemispheres and quadrants, and also the effect of chart angles, if you have a planet on one of your chart angles, the ascendant, the descendant the Midheaven, the Nadia or Imam Chaley. And it makes a huge difference whether your sun is at the top of your chart so that you will shine your blessings and generosity on all, or if the sun is at the bottom of the chart, leaving you feeling hidden and unheard and maybe equipping you to understand and delve into occult and shadow realms. We look at Western astrology concepts of the strength and weakness of, the, of your planets um, in relation to their position in the house, their position in the sign. Um, and then, well, what do we, how, you know, how do we evaluate your sun? There are terms like positive and negative, but what do they mean? Harmonious and challenging. How do we bring in, you know, the value of very adverse circumstances? So we look at, um, you know, phenomenology and also levels of manifestation because planets manifest on the psychological realm, the biological, the sociological, the physical, the event realm, and also, of course, in terms of our spiritual unfoldment, why we are here, our incarnational life script, our spiritual destiny. So then we go on to look at the modalities. Is your son cardinal? Come on, chaps, let's do it now. Fixed. Oh, I don't know about this. Or mutable. Well, I'm not really sure. Or there's the elements, sun in earth, air, fire and water. And then there's the polarities, positive and negative, or masculine and feminine. You're very welcome to journey. I've been teaching you know, journeying techniques for over 20 years. And it is so valuable to journey, to see our astrological sun.
so valuable. We get such meaning. We can ask such questions. And then flipping more into a more intellectualized approach, a very useful understanding of the sun in terms of its context as an ego, ego planet, in terms of different categorizations of planet functions, we'll be looking at that. And also, as so as every part of my course, artwork, it's so valuable to draw your sun. Often in our class webinars, when there's like a, diff a difficult aspect, everybody will spend five minutes quickly sketching a member's, I don't know, Mars square Pluto or something. And so much vivid, vital, unforgettable insight as to the nature of that aspect in your birth chart comes clearly out. And then, of course, what do you do about it? How do you handle it? And we go on to embodiment work. You stand up. You embody how you feel about your son, which may be good or bad. And then you may stand up and embody the son you would like to become, your goal, your target. Um, and as, as I said, we use healing approaches, particularly EFT, in these webinars. Very valuable to go on to inner child work. How was your son energy and concept put in place? How were your life stories, your personal mythology put in place? Was part of you split off at age two, age four, age 12, or whatever? And indeed, we can journey to find, befriend, and heal and integrate the split off parts. Okay, we're coming to the appendices now. And um, basically, there's the understanding the sun through the ancient gods and goddesses. And that's, this is wonderful. Uh, there's an as uh, Appendix two is looking at the aspects of the sun in more detail. Appendix three is looking at psychodynamic concepts of self. And they're well worth doing. So let's now, having reviewed the field, 